Hello and welcome Hello. to the Knitting Twinnings YouTube channel. My we're name back. is Julia. This is Emily. And we're back. <laughs> After I think two months mm -hmm. of hiatus. So we're back today. Uh, we're going to try to do this episode in about 45 minutes because Julia has important appointments this afternoon. Yeah, nails <laughs> and hair. So, <laughs> you know, priorities. <laughs> I'm having a self-care day today because um, I work at La Bien Aimée and on Monday we start our spring pop-up shop for two weeks. Um, we finished preparing everything and it was pretty intense. And then um, I start two weeks of being a shop girl. And yeah, it's a really fun experience, but it's also really tiring. So to prepare, I'm having a full self-care day today. I had a nap this morning and this afternoon I'm having manicure and pedicure and going to the <laughs> hairdresser. <laughs> so yeah, Good we've been plan. pretty busy um lately mm. i feel like the beginning of the year is always mm. um really intense and we've been i don't know having some plans and changing them and you know just life stuff um mm. really caught up with us mm. um but we've been knitting we and have that's why we're here today mm. so we both have uh, finished objects which is super exciting do you want to start with yours yes so i finished my marley pullover uh, it's a bit um wrinkly but <laughs> um so it's done i love it um i think it took me about seven months to knit it <laughs> so the pattern is called marley by, marley by sasha, sasha Heyer, Heyer, who Verona is verona knits on instagram um it's a good pattern it's in tarja so um you knit this part in in tarja um in the front and in the back and um so it was yeah a good introduction for me for in tarja yeah and, you did um, straight away in tarja in the round yes <laughs> it's not that difficult actually but <laughs> don't know i thought it would be a whole big thing but i also uh, I saw the one uh, Amy from La Bien Aimée had and I wanted the same. So, you know, you need to, I was going to say man up and <laughs> <laughs> woman up, woman up, <laughs> knit her up or something. <laughs> it's not like suit up, it's knit up. Yeah, knit up. <laughs> and try a new technique. <laughs> So I have this as so a new... What yarn did you use? So I used a uh, Helix um, in a peach sweater. And then I used Boucle in peach. And um, Felix in Fluoro Morganite for the uh, ribbing. All by La Bien Aimée. All by La Bien Aimée. And it's actually funny because we both have a sweater with Boucle. Mm. Um, cause I'm wearing my Sela sweater by Yona Helen of Land Publishing. Um, I don't remember when I cast this on at the end of summer. I feel like I cast it on in September, I think. So it did take me about six months, but this was my like long-term project that I sometimes picked up, sometimes left. Um, and so I used La Bien Aimée Merino Boucle and Felix Heldabol in the color Fluoro Morganite. And all the while that I was knitting this sweater, I was thinking that's not going to fit right because the Sela sweater has a pretty high neck and it has this big um, double folded collar, which is super warm and comfortable. And then it has a really deep raglan. Um, and I thought that's not gonna look nice. Every time I tried it on, I thought I I'm, I don't think I'm gonna like the fit of this sweater. And I absolutely love it. It's like wearing um, a warm, comfy sweatshirt. I have quite a 
a good amount of positive ease as well. Um, and the boucle yarn is 100% merino. It's super light and so soft. Um, I adore it. Yeah, I have to say I didn't really enjoy knitting with a boucle head single because um, you can't always see the stitch right. And <laughs> yeah, it's, out. it's, yeah. Not it's a bit of a pain. A great stitch but no, but uh, it is uh, really light and enjoyable and yeah, warm so and soft. soft and yeah. yeah. And so the Cela is knit. Uh, so I did Boucle and Felix. And uh, Boucle is like a fingering weight yarn, but it's so like lofty mm. and it has. So you do it on a six millimeter needle. And actually, it's not see through at all. No, not at all. Um, and yeah, it, it knits really fast when you just do it. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, I love it so much. And it's such a happy color. Everyone needs a sweater in. In Fluoro, I feel like because every every time I wear it at work, everyone le, t tells me, "Wow, you you have such a great skin today. <laughs> you look you look really nice today." And I'm always like, "It's the power of this happy color. <laughs> it just makes you gl glow." <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, uh, we both have new sweaters, sweaters and, and I also have another two finished objects so i have a bandana which i knit using uh, the yarn that was left over from this um sweater because i had quite a bit of a uh, fluoromorganite left because i only used it on the cuffs and on the ribbing so i used most of it for this bandana it's the first one that i knit like, it, it took um, you like a week you knitted super fast um like, it was more like uh, two and two weeks and a half oh, I, okay yeah. yeah because i tried to update my ravelry and you know be precise about it because i hadn't really updated my ravelry in a long time so um yeah so i finally gave in and it and knitted a bandana by um by a Aimé Gilles from la bien -Aimée. and it was really enjoyable and i was happy to be able to use the yarn that was left over so um i had uh, not very much left over of the main color of yarn the helix. of the helix so i held it double with the fluoro in this part as more of a fade and then just uh, plain fluoro mm. held double for the middle part. So you have kind of contrasting tips, I like that. Yes, me too. So, mm, so cute. Yeah. So I have an ensemble now. Yeah, yes. it so cute. Yes, I love it. And it's the perfect kind of um, weight you need at the moment when it's yeah. a bit in the middle, like not really warm but not cold and just having something like a light around your neck mm. uh, is really all you need so mm. so i've started another bandana but i'm gonna talk about it later mm -hmm. and i have a third finished object because it's been two months yeah. so so i have you another... were knitting on this one when we recorded our last episode yes so i have another woolly waffle hat mm -hmm. Uh, which I knit using La Bien Aimée Merino DK. Uh, this is Gateway Purple, which is a very nice um, cream with um, purple speckles and yeah. a bit of pink and a bit of blue. And then this is uh, the Flying Knitter. So, so I'm done with my Woolly Waffle hat. Let's see it. I haven't worn it yet because it's not very, it's not cold enough to for hot weather in Paris at the moment, but I still like it a lot. So cute, cute. Yeah. I'll have it for next winter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also have another finished object. And I think I was, was I knitting on this one? Yes, I time? think so. We recorded, so I made um, Traveler Cowl by Andrea Mari using my hand spun yarn. So that was super exciting. I spun the yarn and then as soon as it was finished, I cast on the Traveler Shawl. 
Um, I think the yarn was, it was a braid from Hedgehog Fibers in Callaway Sweet Pea. Mm -hmm. And I held it double with um, a strand of Little Kumo by La Bien Aimée in the color Sansa. So it's just a light pink, but I, I, I always need that, that little fluff in there. Um, so I used up all my hand spun and I got to about here. So I got about, I'd say, halfway through the cowl and ran out of yarn because my hand spun, I guess I had about 150 meters or something. Um, and <coughs> my lovely friend and colleague, Lolita, um, who works with me at La Bien Aimée, she had um, uh, some hand spun. Uh, in the same color, she also had a braid of sweet pea and she had spun it and she very, very, very kindly gifted it to me so that I could uh, finish my uh, cowl. Um, and so it's really funny to see because we spin completely differently and she's a much more experienced spinner than I am. Um, so our colors you can see it's the same colors but it's just spun completely differently um so i was able to finish my cowl um it was a really fun knitting experience not only knitting with hand spun but also this pattern is really great um and now i have this beautiful cowl that's um using my own hand spun and also my wonderful friends uh, hand spun as well and uh, so grateful for Lolita it's just uh, for a spinner being gifted hand spun yarn I feel like it's just so such a precious gift um, so yeah I finished it and I love 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 it yeah it's such a good cowl so fun to knit it's literally just knits and pearls um, my hand spun was really irregular as well. It was really thick and thin. So I had to use, I think, a five millimeter needle. So my cowl is pretty big, but I just love how it came out. Um, the stitch pattern is very forgiving as well for the irregular yarn. Um, and so, yeah, that was just the best project. I loved this project. It has all the, all the great memories. And yeah, I just, I cannot wait um to have more time to spin more yarn and to knit more projects in hand spun yarn so yeah i feel like that that was a really i'm so happy so so happy with this project yeah so that's it for my fo's because recently i've been really busy with work knitting and work spinning as well um because I'm the one who spins um, the braids of fiber whenever at La Bien Aimée we release a new fiber. So I've been spinning all the confetti fibers that we have so that we can take photos of the fiber with the hand spun yarn. And that's really fun because I get to like preview all the new fiber, which I really love to do. Um, but that does take up quite a lot of my um, spinning time. Mm -hmm. And I've been knitting lots of swatches because we have lots of fun um, new things releasing at the pop-up, new colorways, new patterns. So I've been really busy um, with what I call my homework, which is my work, work knitting and spinning. Um, and that, that's good. I enjoy it. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's, there hasn't be, been much more going on. I have one thing on the needles for now, one project, which for me, that's unheard of. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so I um, I cast on, this is going to be impossible. Plus, I started a row. Ah. Um, this is a little shawlette. It's like the, uh, one skein wonder. It's a, mi a mini shawl by a Japanese designer called Miki Teragaki. Um, on Instagram, she is Loves Emerald Blue. Um, she designs all the um, 
pretty colors that Amy likes mm. to wear. And we all fell in love with those. Mm -hmm. um, and she has this mini shawl pattern where it's super fun because it's like a bottom up. So you cast on all the stitches like this and then you knit the lace pattern going in. And then once you're done, you pick up along the cast on edge and you uh, apply like a ruffle, a ruffle edge, um, which is super fun. I was hoping to have this done in time for the pop up, but no, nope. I ran out of time. Anyway, so I'm really enjoying this pattern. It's really clear. It's really fun. I'm not, I don't knit much lace usually, but it's a simple. When it's simple lace, yeah. Then. I'm fine it's with it. it's a simple knit two together yarn over um, lace motif. Yeah, so that's it, and I'm knitting it in La Bien Aimé Merino Super Sock in Caraway Sari. Your color, my color, my favorite color. So yeah, so that's all that's on my needles right now. That's all that's on your needles. Yep. Let's show the project bag that you you're Ooh. using and. That you gifted me. Yes. So, I, right after Love Yarn Madrid, I think Amy came back and said there was this uh, wonderful bag maker at Love Yarn Madrid who sold out really fast of these really cool project bags. I had to go and investigate. So, I investigated and found these projects bag by Kuro Neko Knits. So Kuro Neko means black cat in Japanese because she has a black cat and I love them. So mm. straight away, I ordered a pink one for myself and a yellow one for Emily. And um, I don't They're remember really, her. really uh, practical because yeah. you can just open them and they stay open like this. Yeah. Uh, so when you're knitting, it's really practical. Uh, and they are really light. Yeah, and, and they're, they're both small and spacious. You can yes. put. I have tons of uh, room in there. I I could yeah, um, me too. Use it for a sweater. Mm. No worries. Mm -hmm. And she was super nice. I DM'd her, and she was like, "Yeah, absolutely. I'll make those for you." And uh, um, in two weeks, they were done and on their way to Paris, mm. which was awesome. Mm. So yeah, we both have one, and these are so cute. Yeah. Kuronekonitz on Instagram. So I'm gonna show my <coughs> whip. Um, so I knit a le bandana, uh, and as soon as I was done with the first one that I knit in a bit over two weeks, then I started the second one, and this time it's a stripy one, and I. I'm still copying Amy from La Bien Aimée because <laughs> I saw that when she was in the States last week, mm -hmm. she had one, um, a stripy one with uh, spin cycle yarns. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I love spin cycle. I'm starting to have a nice collection of spin cycle yarns. So I went in my spin cycle stash and I fished out um, a pink that I really love, which is a uh, wallflower. And I decided to hold it with um, some Wandering Flock in Baby Paca. Uh, and I don't remember the colorway name. I think name. the colorway is Tutti Fruity. Oh, maybe. It's a cream with um, neon speckles. Neon speckles, mostly neon yellow and neon pink. Yeah. So I think the two go very well together. And it makes a fun bandana. Yeah, so you're just doing two stripes, yeah. two row stripes. Yeah. Very simple and so enjoyable cute. to knit. And I think it's going to be perfect for spring. Yeah, super cute. So, so I was really happy with that. And so it's in my Kuroneko Knits uh, bag. Uh, that is my most active whip at the moment. I'm also knitting... Um, I've started the Elton Cardigan, uh, I think I talked about it last, last time, time yeah. I wanted to cast on, so I cast on, but I haven't made a ton of progress, oh, and I'm in the middle of a row, actually, so I'm on the back, 
and know. I've done a bit. I don't about... think you can see the color really well. It looks mm. kind of like a dark blue, but it's actually it's an a, emerald green. Yeah, it's a dark emerald green. It's um, the colorway Emeline by La Bien Aimée. Attention aux aiguilles. Um, and uh, super sock. The super sock is really, really dark. And the mohair is very uh, shiny, very shiny, and a bit lighter. And I think the contrast on the um, on the iPad makes it even more contrasty yeah. than it is in real life. But it's a really dark green with a lot of black in it, and mm. I really, really love it. I mean, it's one of my favorite uh, colors from La Bien Aimée. Yeah, it's um, really a jewel tone as well. It's really yes. like emerald. Um, emerald green yeah and i love dark green so so i'm on the on the, I'm on the back still but but this you you always knew it was gonna be a long project yes. it's fingering weight um it has a lot of positive ease yeah. so this this was never gonna be a quick no not a quick quick knit no. but i really don't enjoy knitting more hair held single but you know I love the finished product and I love my colors, so the result is the such result, a good. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be really good. So I have to power through, and I think what I've decided to do is um, work on my bandana during the week because I work a lot and I don't have a lot of knitting time during the week. So working on the bandana is um, more practical. And trying to work on my Elton during the weekend when I have more knitting time. Mm. So that's my weekend project. And I haven't made any progress on my baseline cardigan. Ah. I, start, I finished the body and I started one sleeve. And that's it. Well, I mean, so th it's on... that's already a very, very really good progress. Yes. Um... So it's hibernating at the moment, but I'll, I'll pick it up later. Mm? Mm. Yeah, um, so as I've said, I haven't had a lot of knitting time recently, but there's a lot of dream knitting and a lot of future projects that are getting planned. I feel like every time you have to like knit on a deadline and knit uh, samples, so uh, when I don't knit for myself, I am always feeling like I'm missing out on my own knitting. <laughs> and I'm always like, oh, if only I could uh, get some progress on this project or this project. Anyway, so I've been um, dreaming a lot about my future projects. And I'm almost done with all the swatches I'm getting done for the pop-up and stuff. So I've been uh, collecting yarn for my future projects. I am also planning two bandanas and this one so I have three minis here two are Alix by La Bien Aimée so it's kind it's, of new it's a new uh, base yeah it's a kind of new base it's our new lace weight it goes with uh, Elix and Felix but this one has some Suri alpaca in it. Mm. It's super soft. It is really, just, really soft. Yeah. I used it in my big uh, mm. bandana shawl um, mm. and I just fell in love with it. I'm obsessed with it. So now I want a bandana. I saw that Rachel, uh, Rochelle of Moondrake, um, she had made a bandana in these colors with uh, big, big stripes. stripes yeah. And I just fell in love with it. So I think I'm gonna do these with uh, maybe some mohair or maybe a strand of um, little kumo with it i'm not sure but i'm gonna make big stripes um, with these three colors which i think are gonna be so much fun uh, so i'm very excited i think maybe that's gonna be my pop-up knitting whenever we have um, some you know moments where you know there's a little bit more free time or during my lunch breaks and stuff i think i'm gonna need a, a little bandana to cast on and that's gonna be perfect so that's my first dream knitting i also got a skein of volute because we had this batch of um confetti cake which is um, a color that's um has lots of beautiful speckles 
um, but a batch of confetti cake came out super speckly and all my colleagues and I just lost our lost our minds <laughs> over it so it's online and it's called confetti cake ephemer um, because it it doesn't look like confetti cake it's way too speckly but it was so beautiful um, that it deserved its own photo and its own uh, color so um, I had to snag one skein and I'm gonna use it to make a bandana just one strand of volute because um, one skein is enough to make a, a big bandana actually you can make a, a bigger one um, yeah I'm excited I haven't um, I don't have a bandana in volute yet I've made a couple <laughs> I think for work um, but volute is a really super soft base it's like a souffle cashmere yarn it's extremely luxurious um, it's 50% merino and 50% cashmere and um, the cashmere is like blown onto the merino core so it's it's really soft um, so I'm very excited for this one I think it's gonna look super cute so yeah I have two bandanas that I am looking forward to casting on um me, I have bought a <coughs> ton of yarn recently. No. Mm. I've bought a ton of yarn. After, I think, last year and the year before, I didn't buy so much yarn. I was a bit on a yarn diet, trying to knit from my stash or just get yarn for a specific project and then casting on straight away. So, um, I've been very bad. And... <laughs> <laughs> I ordered a lot of yarn, so... It's not being bad. If you do something you enjoy... Yeah. But I have a very big stash, which is not getting any smaller. So I I don't know why. I think I probably saw someone on Instagram who was wearing a Madeleine Tosh in glazed pecan, and I was like... <laughs> That was one of my favorite colors and my favorite brand of yarn when I started knitting. And I thought, oh, I wonder if they still do it and if I can still get some. And so I got some. I ordered some from a French um, website. Uh, so I got some glazed pecan uh, in a Tosh sock. And I mean, look at that. I love it. So I got, I think, three in Tosh Sock and I think I got two in Tosh DK um, because I want to knit um, a t-shirt with the Tosh Sock and I don't know what in the Tosh DK, but I wanted to have a bit of a stash of uh, glazed pecan. You know what you could do? You could do a traveler cowl with those two stands oh, of yeah, DK. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because that's a good cowl, yeah. and two skeins of DK, that's enough for the cowl, I'm yeah. sure. Um, I could do that. I could do a selfie shawl also. I've done one with um, Cosmic Tie-Dye Wandering Flock with two DKs, and I love it, and I wear it yeah. a lot. So I could do that also. Yeah. Yeah. So I have that. I also bought from that website uh, because I wanted to check it out, and I thought... I wanted to check the Knitting for Olive yarn. Mm. Yeah, it's true. We've never tried it. Yeah. And I thought, okay, order one of each, one of the Merino fingering and one of the Heavy Merino and knit swatches with it and see if you like it and see if... Um, because I think it's, um, it's a really good yarn, a good value also. Uh, the price range is really good. I love their colors. Mm. So... So I thought, okay, get one one ball of each and try it. And then you can see if you want to order more. So I got uh, the heavy merino in slate gray and I got the merino in burnt orange because I really love this color. So I got this with the Madeleine Tosh. And then I also ordered some spin cycle because I saw that they had an update. They had an update with an incredible pink color. Because I have to say, as much as I like spin cycle yarns, they don't do enough pinks for mm. me. That's that's a big problem. 
But when I saw on the previews for the coming update, which was two weeks ago, two I weeks think, ago, yeah, that they had this incredible pink color, which is always yours, and I had to get a few. You even gifted me one, yay! Because yeah. I want to do a, a Masselberg hat in spin cycle, um, because they've been doing the Massel uh, can. Musselberg Cal, is it how they? No, it's Spinberg Cal. Did they call it like this? Anyway, they did a Cal for the Musselberg, and I really love what it, how the hat looks in the spin cycle. Mm. Um, so Emily kindly gifted me one kind of this color mm. as well, and so I got a couple of things also, because I had mm. my eye on. Um, this color, which is fine line, which is inspired from, I think, a set of crayons or a set of pens, pens um, that one of the ladies of Spin Cycle uh, got very inspired by and um, adapted into uh, yarn. So I really love it. I got two of this also, and I got two of another color um which is uh an original one that i really love which is ghost ranch but this one looks very very different from the ghost ranch i used in previous they're very blue but do they go really well with yeah. the fine line yeah i think so too i think that would make a really cool like inclination shawl or something mm -mm -mm. so yeah so i ordered Seven skeins of spin cycle from the US. From the US. But you know, I only do that like once a year or something. So mm. this treat yourself. Treat yourself. Yeah, that's what I did. Mm. I also treated myself to a sweater quantity of yarn. Um, I put this in my favorite project bag ever. Amy brought this one back to me from the US as a gift a couple of years ago, I think. It's uh, by Black Pearl Magic. Shayla, if you're watching, hi! Um, and this is just so me, <laughs> sparkly and pink. Mm -hmm. um, so I've never been able to snag another one. I, I can't ever get um, in yeah, on Shayla's true. updates. Um, but in a couple of weeks, we are launching the Lento Cal, the Lento Knit Along. Um, and this weekend, we're having a promotion, actually. For the Lento Love Knit Along. Um, and Yona Helen of Lent Publishing is coming to visit us at the pop up. I'm so excited to see her again. Yona is so, so nice. Um, I will have my Sela, of course, that I can wear and brag about. But we're also doing a custom party for the Lento Love Cal. I already have a Lento in Sari that I love. I think it's probably my favorite sweater. Um, and I've decided to um, cast on a new lento in noir because we recently released our noir et blanc collection at La Bien Aimée and we now have a really a true black yarn. So I got some Kumo and some Merino singles. I have my sweater quantity and I can't wait to start a lento in noir. Um, Everyone says knitting with black yarn is really hard on the eyes. So we'll see. My eyesight is really not what it used to be. Um, but uh, no, I'm very excited to cast on a new sweater. I feel like Lento is going to be uh, super enjoyable. I loved knitting my first one. So I'm very excited to cast this one on. Yay. So very soon. Very yeah. soon. I think I would also like to knit another one. Yeah. I have one in um the Kumo was in Anemone and the uh, singles, singles in... was in pe peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, it's such a good one. Yeah, it's very good. I think I would like to knit another one, but mm. uh, you know. Uh, I have another I well, have... we have a knit along starting in two weeks from yeah, today. But... I in, have another in one month. I'm really gonna try to knit a lento in one month. I know I can do it because it's the, the same as the Cela, it's on a six millimeter needle. Um so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do that in mm. knit a lento in one month. 
Yay, so excited. My dream knitting plans uh, for me are um, not a lento first, but the one I, the um, there's a um, like a vest that I've been wanting to knit. <laughs> yeah, it just started raining so hard. Yeah, the weather is <laughs> terrible this weekend. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to knit uh, the um, Traveler Shell by uh, Andrea Maury. So I think that might be um, what's on my shopping list for the pop-up. Yeah, For the La Bien Aimée pop-up. Absolutely. But my, yeah, my, my problem is always figuring out um, which color to pick because... So easy. The so colors easy. are really good. Yeah. And... So I've been torturing myself and thinking, should I do it in like, I think I would like to, um, to use like French gray mm. and um, a really nice stunning color as in Kumo as a contrast, but I don't really know which one to pick. I think pick. you should do French gray and sea glass. You've always loved sea glass. I love sea glass. It's one of your favorite colors. It's mm. gonna um, pop mm. a lot with the french gray mm -hmm. and at the same time it's gonna be like it's it's still a light color um so it's not gonna contrast too much and yet it's gonna be mild um i think it's gonna mm. it, it should look pretty uh similar to andrea's original version because mm. she used lichen which is a light green yeah. dyed on the light gray base mm. so you will have a little bit more even more the marling will be a bit more pronounced mm. Uh, but still it's gonna look really stunning mm. I think um, I've been really thinking I, I really want a traveler shell as well it mm. is such a cool design yeah and I think I would do I mine. think for the spring and for the summer it's gonna be very practical to wear over a dress yeah um, Actually, I think maybe I so have yeah the... I think that's next on my list I would like to make progress on the baseline and on the Elton before I cast on maybe I should try to finish the baseline before I cast on the traveler shell. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I think I would do mine in Helix Sansa, which is a very light pink. So when we dye it on, on top of the light gray, it's very subtle. And then Sansa in Kumo, like a light pink sweater. I don't have one, actually. So I... Okay. We had a <laughs> interruption. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Mm. Had to make more room on the iPad. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Welcome to the second part of this video where Emily shows us more yarn that she bought <laughs> at um, La Fête de la Laine in Malakoff. Yes, it's a small knitting festival that has been happening for three or four years now, I think. Mm. Um, in a town just outside of Paris, in Malakoff. Um, it's grown to be a really, really cool festival mm. where I went last weekend uh, while you were sick, oh. so you couldn't go. So I went with, so um, with your colleagues, um, Annie and Lolita. And, um, I had all the FOMO, but I was really feeling unwell. I'm yeah. still a little bit sick, but last mm. weekend mm -mm. I couldn't. So I didn't stay very long, but I bought a lot of yarn. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to stay any longer because I'm going to want to buy more yarn. And the cool thing about the this festival is they focus on um, natural yarns. Yes, natural yarns, natural French yarns, yes. like local uh, French dyers who use... Uh, only uh, French sourced yarns, mm -hmm. um, very small dyers, uh, a lot of them I had never heard of. Um, so, you know, it was really, really enjoyable to meet new people and to um, discover lots of discover new lots of new rustic yarns, which I didn't used to like, but now I really do. So... Um, I saw one of um, uh, Marion, who used to work, I think, at La Bien Aimée a long time ago, and she opened her own shop um, near Fontainebleau, outside of Paris, uh, where she carries 
um, the uh, Italian yarn brand who, which is called Lani Vendole uh, that I had seen in Barcelona last year and um, at that time I was a bit overwhelmed and I wanted to buy everything but I ended up not being able to choose so I didn't buy any yarn from them. I think it's two women um, from Northern Italy who also use uh, local yarn and do their own natural dyeing. Yeah, local Italian breeds. Um. Yeah, and I was really, really, um, how do you say, uh, stunned by mm. what they do. Um, so yeah, luckily, the yarn is beautiful. Yeah, so luckily Marion carries, carries this brand now. So I got um, the Chic Blend, which is... Um, what is it? Yeah. It's 60% uh, bruises wool, 20% alpaca and 20% mohair. And you can see that it is, um, you know, a bit fluffy, very soft. Uh, so it's 50 grams canes and I got uh, all that Marion had in this color. <laughs> so I got five. Um, yeah, I got five. So I think I want to knit a shawl with mm. this. Um, it's gonna be really good. I think I'm gonna knit a, yeah, a shawl. So I got this. And then I got some French yarn. Um, one from um, Boucle Laine, which is very rustic. But I encourage you to check out her Instagram and her website uh, because her colors are stunning. Her prices are really good. And um, this one is yarn um, called Wesson. So it's from Brittany. A it's from of sheep yeah. of, from Brittany. So I mean, you know, 50% mouton de l'île de Wesson, sheep from the Wesson Island. 25% mouton élevé en Finistère, sheep from Finistère in Britain. 25% of Merino d'Arl, which is from the um, Merino, in, Merino the in the south of France. Of France. So, you know, with Annie, I think we we wanted to buy all of it, but <laughs> we both got the, um, the green one. So I have three to make a t-shirt, I think. And then I also got some yarn from another um, brand that I didn't know, which is called La Fabrique Poveda. Um, so I got two of the natural one, and it is um, fingering weight of um, undyed uh, and it's sheep from Bourgogne and from Bouche du Rhône. So, so I got two of the natural and one of the lovely pink, peachy pink and it was really a good price and it's all natural, all done in France and sourced in France and everything so you know so, I love it. I think it looks really, really good. It is uh, very dry and a bit rustic, but it's pretty soft for what it is. I love that it's got some of the hay in it. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what I got. So I got a lot of yarn uh, from Le La Fête de la Laine in Malakoff. Mm. which I can only recommend as a very cool laid-back festival mm -hmm. uh, which is free when you get in and it's right next to Paris as well yeah very close to where we live mm. so you know yeah and uh, can only recommend it yep so that's what I got that's my knitting shopping great yeah and then next weekend I'm gonna go to the pop-up and hopefully uh, settle on a color choice for my traveler shell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have at the pop-up, we will have a special um, short releasing by Stephen West. I'm excited for everyone to see it. I've seen it and I love it. Um, I haven't seen it, but I think the stripes and what I've seen, the, uh, I've seen you knit some of the... Um, uh, small samples and all, all the swatches yeah all the swatches and yeah. honestly it looks really cool mm -hmm. and i really like the stripes so yeah 
So it's all stripes because yeah. that's the theme of the La Bien Aimée pop-up this year. And I've decided, because I also want to make one because I really like the this shawl, but I would like to do it with leftovers. And so I've just um, got all my leftovers of Elix, Felix and Alix um, and Moer and Kumo and... I think I will make mine using all leftovers um, and do it in all the colors that I like. Um, so yeah, I've put all my leftovers in my Hello Kitty bag, project bag. And um, I think that's going to be a really fun project to, project to cast on as well. So yeah, there's going to be lots and lots of um, fun knitting um really soon once i'm done with all my swatches which should be this weekend yay yeah so, so that's it yeah i think that's it for today for us um thanks for tuning in and then hopefully we won't wait uh so long to do a new episode no but um we do have after the pop-up is over um i'm gonna take a week off and so are you um because last year was i was very tired and this year we decided um it would be cool to take a week off in spring and go do a little bit of traveling so in april we're going to spend a week in athens we're so excited so in three weeks um in three weeks we're going to greece to athens i think our main uh, objective is to stay in Athens and not travel around Greece because um, at the same time we want to uh, you know uh, have a really relaxing holiday yeah so hang out yeah uh, chill visit and museums mm -hmm. and um, hang out in cafes I've been um, saving all these addresses that I find on Instagram for like cool cafes um fun little restaurants and i think it's just gonna be about uh hanging out um uh, visiting museums and hopefully the weather will be great which mm. it should be um and hopefully we will get to see our friend Trelis, mm. uh who we haven't seen in a little while and she lives in athens she dyes beautiful yarn um yeah so I think most likely our next episode will be in about a month when mm. we come back from Athens. Um, all rested and happy and yeah, yeah, ready to start again. So that's it yes. from us. Uh, we really hope um, all you guys out there are doing well, are enjoying your knitting. Um, Maybe we'll see you at the La Bien Aimé pop-up in yes, Paris. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you mostly watch... you, but I'll be there on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you watch this and you have the opportunity to come say hi, please say hi. <laughs> I will be at the La Bien Aimé pop-up every day for the next two weeks. Um, and excited to yarn able everyone mm -hmm. um, like I like to do. Um, yeah, that's it from us. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.